Hey everybody, today we're going to be putting this pile of old technology into that, but not the cat. Okay, so what this is, is a Pentium 3, 550 megahertz, we got some RAM in there, Hyundai Korea RAM, I don't know how much. It is 64 megabyte chip, um, or stick of RAM, and we have two 256 megabyte value RAM, some Kingston. So we have a total of 576 megabytes of RAM. And we got ourselves a NVIDIA Riva TNT2-64, which I think it's a 32 megabyte card. I don't think it's really 64 megabyte, but it says 64 there for some reason. So that's going to be our graphics card. We got ourselves a Sound Blaster. I think this is a Sound Blaster. Some kind of Sound Blaster. CT5803. And no, we're not uh, we're not putting this modem in there. No. Keyboard and mouse, I have no idea which one's which. A couple USB ports, a couple COM ports, and a serial port, that's their serial port. Got some PCI slots. Whew. Don't know what that uh, that's our AGP slot and our ISA slot. And this is a gateway motherboard of some sort. Gonna want to clean that. Ew! Ew! Got some caked in shit there too. Time for a vacuum. And I almost forgot a an exciting twist to the whole build here. We've got one of these here. One of these guys. And what this is going to do is going to convert our IDE into an SD card. So I've got a 64 gigabyte SD card we're going to put some DOS on. This thing's still pretty nasty. Alright, I say that's good enough. back in. Make sure our notches line up. Push down. Push it real good. And our lone 64 megabyte card. Yeah. Now for the case. Get ourselves a DVD RW drive. Hopefully it works. It should. It is IDE. Got a slot for a floppy drive if I ended up uh, getting one. Got an intake fan. Uh, three extra bays. Power, reset, some USB ports and whatnot that aren't going to work with this case. Or with this motherboard, I should say. 430 watt power supply that will hopefully work with the motherboard also. This is all a crapshoot. I'm not sure if any of this is going to work. But hey, we're gonna we're gonna try it out. And we've got a couple fans in the back. We got a rear exhaust, and a top exhaust. So far so good. Oh, looks like we got a match. Oh yeah. Just gotta move a few of these standoffs. Maybe just one. One right down here. Looks like we have one standoff to spare. Lucky days, lucky days. Now I gotta find some screws. Seven screws. This is gonna be the best looking DOS machine ever. Sporting this awesome case. A 
hope we don't hear that rattle when it's running though. Okay, we're we're mounted. We are mounted. Throw our video card in. There we go. Video card is in. That. So we have sound, hopefully. I don't have an extra cable to go up to my CD drive, but I won't be listening to any music on this thing anyways. Except in-game music. Plug the power in here. Hopefully. Again, it's all crapshoot. Looks like it fits pretty good though. Beautiful. This is what? idea. A bunch of Molex cables. I want the front panel because we do need, need the, the power switch and reset switch wired up. Those are here somewhere. Oh, yeah, USB, we don't need any of that. HD audio, can't do any of that. These are useless. Got a multimeter. Maybe we can kind of match this stuff up here. That's the power LED. So we got our front switches set up. Let us hook up the CD drive. So what we're going to do is plug this baby in. Right in there. And our IDE cable. We'll hook up in here too. That's it. The IDE. Okay, there's that. Now, let's take our hard drive controller thing here, SD card controller, and hook up the IDE to that. Maybe? Okay, so this is a two and a half inch IDE adapter, not a three and a half like I needed, but we have a backup and to stay with the solid state theme, got one of these here which will convert our IDE to a uh, SATA cable and then we can hook up 64 gigabyte verbatim solid state drive. So let's open the package up and get, get down to it. So there it is. Hopefully this will work. So that just pops right in there. We do need to plug it in. So, it is a floppy connector, so we'll just plug that in. This goes in here. To drive. That. Got one of these guys here for a Molex. Since this is. Oh, wait, we have. Oh, never mind, we've got one. Woo! Okay. Just throw this in there. This is a pretty nice case. It works out perfect for an old. DOS motherboard. So that just snaps in like that. Power. I believe we are just about ready to try and fire this thing up. Extra cable we don't need. Neatly pack those away. Okay, let's fire this baby up. Yeah, 
power. So it looks like we do have a gateway. But it looks like we're frozen here. Oh boy. Okay. Don't know what that was. So there we are. We got our Pentium 3, 550 megahertz, 576 megabytes of RAM. So it is picking up the RAM. There's the uh, SSD. 64 gigs, so it is finding that, but it's not picking up the CD drive, unfortunately. So there's our fixed disk. So it is finding the hard drive. Drive A error. Diskette drive. Hmm. We don't have a floppy drive, so we'll disable that. Maybe that's what's screwing up on. Counting up the RAM. Look at it go. Hmm. Oh, oh. Looks like we already had Windows loaded on this thing. This is going to end badly. Oh, we rebooted. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I forgot to plug in the oh, the motherboard or the uh, CPU CPU fan. So we better turn this thing off. See if the power button works. Yay! So I wonder how hot this was getting. Eh, not too bad. There it goes. Ah, there we go. Maybe that's why. Now let's save it. Watch it count up the RAM again. Yeah, so that was that problem. Now we just got to figure out why the CD drive isn't being detected. This is just going to crash out. Just shut that down. It was getting power, so that's not the problem. Switch this stuff around here. Yes. I wonder if this uh, this doesn't like the DVD drive, which could be the case. But I do have an older drive, so we can test that out. All right. So here's a drive that's a little older. This is an actual CD writer. Um, this should work. 2003 so let's uh, swap this thing out it's nice about this case all you got to do is slide this thing back I think there we go it just comes right out now we're cooking with gas All right, so that's that. Oh boy, that did not sound good. It's open and everything, so that's good. Now I found nothing. Hmm. It didn't make that weird sound this time, so. Maybe that's a good sign. I have to do something with the jumpers, possibly. Maybe. Let's make it the master. Obey your master. Obey. Okay. See you round drive. No hard drive. Fuck. Oh, was that in properly? No, oh, that may not have been in there right. Hmm. Fix this. Yeah, oh, it wasn't in there right. All right. So we're good. We're ready to put some DOS on this beast. Okay, so I've acquired a floppy drive. 
So let's uh, pop that in there. As you can tell, I've uh, put the DVD drive back in, put it into the slave or uh, the master jumper, and it actually works now. So I think it works. It recognized it in BIOS, anyways. Oh, it looks impersonal. That was a little weird. I think it was uh, out of focus. Got a 1.44 slash 1.25 megabyte drive. I want it right protect. And just to show the IDE, we got our NEC DD, DVD RW. So let's save that. Incorrect drive A type. Hmm. Really? something else. Yeah, I know it's a 1.44 megabyte. Well, maybe this drive's no good. I do have another one to test out. So let's try it. Sounds better. Yeah, must have been the drive. Put a boot disc in, see what happens. something wrong with this one but I think it is reading from the A drive yeah it is yep okay well let's let's see what happens with DOS all right so I got DOS 7.1 here to test out we want to install had this happen before, it hangs up here. I don't know if uh, this DOS is going to work here. I do have free DOS we could try. Maybe we'll try that instead. I have free DOS 1.1. Time for a switch. There might be some, something wrong with the disk that I burned. Or it's not, not doing the hard drive step properly. F disk exit. System on already start. Okay. Okay, we want to install. I think I want to press one. Sure do. Look at how fast that is. Wow.
we want to continue. Oop. I don't think I think that's going to take me back to the last menu there. Uh, full install, yes. What is this thing doing? Oh, there we go. Please select what to do with the boot sector. I guess one. Okay. So, looks like we're good. There's what's on the C drive. Got 60 gigabytes. First game I think we'll try out. Try out some Retro City Rampage for DOS. Go to A drive. Install. Installation complete. Okay. Look at that. Oh, beautiful sound. This, this get here. Oh, I got a club now. I'm club them. Ouch. Oh, give me your gun. There's the health bar for the uh, fire up hydrant. You get points for bouncing on people's heads. Oh, two in a row. Beat up the car. Come on, explode. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How about we try out some Duke Nukem 3D? There we go. Actually runs pretty good for being uh, on free DOS, I guess. Boring without sound, huh? All right, let's see if we can get sound going. Okay, so a bit of a change of plans here. I ended up getting a, an actual ISA sound card. This is a, a Sound Blaster Creative um, AWE64, which actually has better um, MIDI uh, sound. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that says Sound Blaster AWE64. So let's pop this in. Plug it in. Okay, got the drivers. Turn this baby on. 
speakers are here. Very crackly. Okay, so that extracted some files, so install. Okay, installs audio software hard disk before installing because you're in me. We don't want to do that. Install audio software. Sure. Mm. Ah. Oh no. I need to get the uh, Intel PNP configuration manager. So we'll be back with that. Okay, so I have the PNP configuration manager. I'm just going to quit this. Probably should have put this in a different directory, huh? Oh well. Now let's install this SB Basic again. Yes. Alright. Install. Install. Enter. Enter. Please insert. Okay. Sure. Okay, it's looking good here. Sure. MIDI port is 330. Okay, gotta remember that. Okay. Reboot. Hmm. Shit. That's loud. Oh boy. Sound though, or music, I should say. Who wants some? Oh, yeah, music works. Sixteen bit testing. Well, let's try, try a reboot here. Hmm. Duke Nukem does not like this video or audio card. Sound card, whatever. annoying sound in the world. Whoa! Look at that! Huh. 
So that works. That's cool. I don't know how I got it to work, but hey, I'm not complaining. All right, so basically the only thing I got to do is figure out why I had to why, why I had to do what I had to do to get the sound to work. Let me see. So this is all the sound stuff up here. I think this is probably yeah. The, this one is just removed. That line down there. Sets on SB16. CTM. Well, let's give it a restart and see what happens. Yep, yeah, something's not. Something's not running right. Yeah, I think I need to do something with that auto exec deck bat. Okay, so right after my battery went down in the camera here. Notice one thing that I'll point out here in a second. Okay, if you notice this right here, this says fdconfig.sys. Now when we went through and installed the Creative Sound Blaster installation configuration thingamajigger, it was creating a config.sys, not an fdconfig.sys. SYS or SYS, whatever you want to say. So, what I'm going to do, and if you look here, we got a config and we got an FD config. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete config.sys and I'm going to rename fdconfig.sys to config.sys and just to make sure. And now, what I got to do is I got to edit. Auto exec up that, and I gotta find where the FD config is loaded. I think it's towards the bottom yeah, right here. Set config file. I want that to be just config.sys. Save. Exit. Now what I'm gonna do is go to. Okay, so right there, it's adding the device to our config, so that's what we want to do. Alright, we'll just reboot again, and hopefully it works this time. Oh, there we go. That's it, folks. I think we're good to go. Got the AWE synthesizer going, MIDI, music, whatever you want to say. And we are all set. I'll give a quick flyby of the, the build at the end of the video. And please, thumbs up, thumbs down, leave comments. Good or bad, I don't give a shit.